I'm not a good enough designer or developer. I don't know enough. Everybody else is better than me. They all have their lives and their careers more under control than I do. I'll never find a job. If I do find a job, somebody's probably gonna fire me and most likely at some point in my career, people are gonna find out that I am a fraud. This is called imposter syndrome. And like most of you, I deal with it every single day. What is the deal with imposter syndrome? Well, imposter syndrome is really just a new fancy word for low self-esteem, which is something that I struggle with. Most creatives that I know at some point in their life or their career struggle with this idea of feeling like an imposter, of having low self-esteem. So I wanna share with you five ways that have really helped me to battle imposter syndrome, not defeat because I don't think I'll ever defeat it, but daily do battle with imposter syndrome. Okay, here's the first tip. The first thing that works for me is to develop a healthy response to failure. I used to be really afraid of failing or letting other people see my failure. And what I have to do is daily remind myself that failure is just an opportunity to learn and grow. There's no such thing as losing. There's either winning or there's learning. That's it. It was Henry Ford that said that failure is only an opportunity to actually try again more intelligently. Because let's face it, we're gonna fall short. We're gonna deliver a bad project. Not everything can be a portfolio piece. Not everything is gonna be a win. Sometimes it's gonna go in the L category and that's okay, that's life. We just have to have the proper response, which is I need to learn from this, I need to grow from this, I need to get better. Tip number two comes right off the back of tip number one for me, which is I need to at times stop thinking of myself so highly. Here's what I mean by that. I am not so important in this world that everybody is sitting around on standby, analyzing my life, waiting for me to fail. It's just not true. I'm not that important. The work that I do is not make or break. I am not a rocket scientist trying to get astronauts to Mars, and I'm not a brain surgeon trying to heal you of some sort of trauma. I'm a designer. Ready? What's the worst that could happen? So what? A project that I made is not the best ever. It's not gonna be the death of me. Let's move on to point number three. Here's the third tip that's really helped me in combating imposter syndrome. That being perfect and always thinking that I need to be the best or part of the cool club is stupid and overrated. I have to remind myself on a daily basis that it's better to just be me, to be happy, to be content, and to be okay with the process and the journey. I know it's gonna sound really cliche, but the destination's not the only thing that matters. It's the journey and how you journeyed. And so each day I need to wake up remembering the journey's okay too. It's just, it's just be okay with that. Tip number four is actually a principle you can put into place right now and it's called stop thinking. Stop thinking is when you're thinking a thought and to stop yourself, you actually audibly tell yourself to stop thinking like that. So the time will come where I post my work on Dribbble and I'm really, really excited about that work. And then I look to the left and to the right of it and look how amazing that work is. See, I'll never be as good as those designers and that look how many views they got and look how many likes that person got. Boom, and right in that moment, I say, stop thinking like that. I'll say it audibly, out loud. It's best to do this when you're alone and not out in public getting coffee somewhere so you don't seem crazy. But I'll say things out loud like, stop thinking that, that's not true, that's a lie, and I'm not believing that today. For some reason, it works for me. It's like the type of encouragement and love that I would give to somebody that I really care about I have to care about myself the same exact way and be willing to say something so bold to myself. And so I practice stop thinking, give it a try. Maybe it'll help you. All right, last tip of the day and the fifth thing that I do to combat imposter syndrome is to focus more on growth and less on status. When I focus on my current position, my current status on where I'm at, it's very easy to judge and keep everything else out of context. But when I focus on growth, where I've come from and where I might be going, what the trajectory is, then I become incredibly grateful. I can remember all the things that have happened on this journey and how each day I've grown a little 
bit more and that's really encouraging and it helps me to kind of stay positive. Well, that's it. Those are the five things I do on a daily basis to battle imposter syndrome. What do you do? Maybe those would help me. Let me know. Leave those down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And if you enjoyed the video, thumbs up, subscribe, bell notification icon, all that kind of stuff so other people can see this video as well. Hopefully it can help them too. I hope you guys are having an amazing week. Hope you're designing amazing things. Hope you're making amazing things. But more than that, I hope you're shifting your perception and building a little bit of that self-confidence and battling well against imposter syndrome. See you in the next one.